everybody, this is Mark with iApple Tech 128, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new Force Touch trackpad in the MacBook Pro. As of right now, this new trackpad is only found in the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but it will be available in the new MacBook next month. The way this trackpad works is it does not click anymore, instead it uses a vibrating motor to give you that sense that you are clicking. And as you can see right there, it vibrates rather than clicking, and it does other features as well, which we'll take a look at in this video. Right here is a current MacBook with a clicking trackpad, as you can see it moves, but with the new MacBook Pro, as you can see, the trackpad barely moves at all. While the trackpad does not click, you do feel it click, which is really, really cool and weird, but you can disable that as well. We can also adjust how hard you press the trackpad for those actions to happen, and when you do press it, you'll feel a double vibration, letting you know that you are doing a double click or like one of those force touch features. Some of the things is with folders, you can press harder and that will allow you to rename the folder. So you can go ahead and name it whatever we want. We can also go ahead and press on any item and that will give you our click look of it. On a website, we can press and hold on a link and that will open up a preview of it in Safari, this is in Safari only, but it gives you a preview of what the web page is. And for text, we can press and hold on text and it will give us a dictionary definition. And this is probably one of my favorites, and this is in QuickTime. You can press and hold on the rewind and fast forward buttons, and the harder you press, the faster it will rewind or fast forward. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We have a whole bunch of other features on the MacBook trackpad, Force Touch trackpad. I'll leave a link in the description where you can see more of those features. This is just a real quick overview and review of the Force Touch trackpad. Overall, I really like it and can't wait to see adopted in more Apple devices. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. This is Mark with iAppleTech1Toid, and have a great day.